Hi, I'm Dean Rumpel, CEO of Pleasureway Industries, and today I'm gonna to take you on a tour of our brand new 2020 Pleasureway Tofino. Now this is our most stealthy camper van we produce, and a lot of that comes by the way of our pop top roof, so we maintain a very low profile, and when you need to, you can pop the roof up to give you extra standing space or additional sleeping area. Plus, this camper van has a ton of interior storage. The Tofino is built on the Ram ProMaster 1500 chassis. It comes in at 17 feet 9 inches long and has an occupant and carrying capacity of 2,000 pounds. So you can put a lot of your personal gear inside this coach. It features a Pentastar 3.6 liter gasoline engine and it's going to average around 16 miles per gallon on the highway. As I come around to the driver's side, you'll notice we have heavy duty tubular running boards. We also have our utility center here so you can hook up to city water, shore power, and it has its remote propane tank on off switch. We use full panes of glass so you have a lot of ventilation and a more panoramic view. And where we don't have glass, we even create our own fiberglass panel to match the window so it looks seamless and it maintains that great exterior appearance. As I come around to the back, it's nice and clean and open, and you'll notice that we have our hitch. So that comes standard with a seven pole wiring. It's a two inch receiver, and you're capable of towing up to 2,900 pounds, depending on how much gear you have inside. I'm gonna open up the back doors, and you'll see the abundance of storage I'm talking about. When we look into the back, you'll see it's wide open. We've designed it this way on purpose so that you can decide what and how you want to load inside. Here we have over 70 cubic feet of open storage. Plus, this coach has a 2,000 pound occupant and carrying capacity, so there's a lot of room for you to put stuff inside. Also, it comes with its own telescoping ladder, which you'll need if you want to access the optional roof rack. So our roof rack system can hold up to 200 pounds, so it's super convenient if you want to take surfboards or kayaks along, you can strap them down. It's just important to remember that before you pop up your roof, you unload what's ever on the rack. You'll also notice we have a cold water spray port so you can just plug in your hose and if you need to rinse anything off, it's handy and convenient right here. Plus it has this great rear screen package. So when this unclips, when you're not using it, it rolls all the way down. You can zip it into place. It also has a screen inside, a blackout screen for privacy when you're sleeping at night or you can open that up and you can have fresh air coming all the way through. Right now we have it only partially rolled down, so you can see if you want to access underneath, you can open up your back doors and still have accessible to the storage. As you can see now, we have the nightshade is open and we have access to the screen, so you can get a lot of fresh air coming in with the back doors open. It also gives you a great view onto whatever you're looking at and it's completely bug free as it's all zipped in its closed position. As I come around to the passenger side, you'll see we have our dual 110 receptacle here. Now this is also powered off of our 2000 watt inverter, so anything you wanna plug in while you're outside, you can do so right here. You'll notice we maintain our full sized glass, which gives you a great view from the inside while maintaining that look from the outside. We also have the tubular running boards and our propane fill and our quick connect. So if you have a portable barbecue, you can just run a hose to the quick connect and get your propane from the onboard propane tank. Now come with me and we'll go inside and we'll have a look at the interior of the 2020 Tofino. Before I show you how the roof easily pops up, I just want to point out, while maintaining its stealthy appearance with the roof down, you don't necessarily need to put the roof up if you don't want the extra standing height or the additional sleeping. So for me, I'm just over six feet tall, I can step up 
into the main area. I can use the seats, I can access the fridge, use the stove and sink, and it's okay with me not having this up. Plus, it provides a little bit more security. Maybe if you're camping in a Walmart or spending the night on the street side someplace, you might feel a little more secure with the roof down. The inside of the coach is fully functional and you are fully capable of accessing all of its features. So to lift up the roof, the first thing we have to do is undo all the safety buckles and catches, which we're gonna do that right now. And then we're just gonna simply push up on the roof. Now it has gas struts, so it'll automatically start lifting the roof up for you with just a little bit of pressure to start lifting the roof. Then the gas struts take over and it's very simple for the roof to pop up into the open position. With the roof in the upright position, you'll see it reveals our overhead bunk. It's 49 inches wide by 72 inches long. So you can have a couple of kids up there sleeping, no problem. It also has two vented side screens, so you can open them up and get a lot of cross ventilation. And our upper canvas is made by Sumbrella, which is a heavy duty water resistant canvas. So if you ever got caught in a rainstorm, you could close your roof and you would never have to worry about your fabric mildewing or rotting because of the moisture because Sumbrella is a breathable fabric, which is exactly what you want in a type of pop-top coach like this. The front section of the tent has a window opening, so you can zip it closed at night or leave it open during the day if you'd like to get more daylight inside the upper bunk. We also have a built-in USB charging port here if anybody needs to charge a device while they're up in the upper bunk. Plus, as you can see, there's a ton of standing room around me, which is perfect if I'm working in the kitchen. With the roof popped up, it's very convenient to use your kitchen. Here we have a single burner induction stove. This runs off of the inverter and the lithium batteries that we have. It also has a single lever cold water faucet and a stainless steel sink. And the kitchen window is venting, so you can open them up to get more air in. And it also has an MCD shade, which you can pull down to give yourself some privacy when you need it. With the front seat swiveled, you can see it expands your living area and it gives you another option for seating additional people inside. Now, if you wanted to leave the sofa made down into a bed all day, you could do so and still use these front two seats to put the table up in the middle and dine right up front here. Also in the kitchen area, we have a Dometic 2.2 cubic foot AC DC compressor style fridge and it even has its own little separate freezer compartment which is removable if you want to use it as just a solid fridge only. Now I'm sitting back on the sofa which has two lap belts in it so you can carry additional passengers and you'll see we have the table set up. So the table is not permanently mounted into the floor, it's on a unique tripod base so I can move it around to wherever I like or I can slide it up front if I want to sit at the front and use that area as the dedicated dining spot. Also, because it's a tripod base and it's not permanently mounted into the floor, I can even take it outside if I need the extra table space out there. In the kitchen, we also have some storage space. So here you can see underneath the sink. We also have more over here. That one's quite deep. We have a 110 plug. And finally, more storage to the left of me. Plus, all our latches are positive latching, so you know that door is not gonna open up while you're in travel. Now, what also makes this coach unique is we have our fresh water and our gray water tanks and our water lines all up inside the coach. So when you have your fresh water and gray water tanks inside and a 16,000 BTU furnace, this coach becomes four season capable because you don't have to worry about any of your tanks or lines freezing as long as your coach is warm inside. Even though the Tofino is a little more scaled back than some of our other models, it still features a lot of our great technology. So the Tofino comes standard with two 100 amp hour lithium batteries, our multiplex wiring system, our touchscreen panels, it also has our Xantrex 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter and optional solar panels. So 
that has all the power and technology of all of our coaches throughout our Pleasureway lineup. To the left of me is our Xantrax Pure Sine Wave 2000 Watt Inverter Control Panel. So from here, you can power on and off your inverter. The inverter draws its power from the two 100 amp hour lithium batteries and inverts it to 110 power electricity. So it runs your induction stove and feeds all of your electrical outlets. So you can go dry camping and not have to worry about being plugged into shore power or have a generator running because your inverter is going to carry that load for you. Directly below the Xantrex control panel is our Go Power solar controller. So if you want to keep your lithium batteries topped up, you can get an optional two 100 watt solar panels on the roof and the solar controller will help charge your batteries while you're in the sunlight, which is going to keep them powered up to help power the inverter so you can dry camp longer. And directly below the countertop is our touch screen control panel. So from here, you can control all the interior lights. You can see the levels of your propane, gray, and fresh water. Also, you can see the voltage of your coach batteries and it has a real-time amp meter. So if you have optional solar, or even if you don't, you can see exactly how much your batteries are discharging or charging up if you have solar panels. You can also control your furnace from here by turning it on and setting the thermostat to your desired temperature. And we also have a diagnostics page. So you can find out if everything inside your coach is operating as it is supposed to. It'll have little green lights on. If there's ever an issue, it's going to show up right here and a service tech will know exactly what to look for, which will save you time in the long run. The sofa I'm sitting on comes with two lap belts so you can carry up to four passengers in this camper van. Plus, this is called a jackknife sofa. So this lays down to convert into the 54 by 72 inch rear bed. Let me show you how that works. With the jackknife sofa in the down position and we've removed the upper bed cushion and put it in place, it now converts it into a 54 by 72 inch rear double bed. Also, I have zipped in the privacy screen and the back screen so you can see now it's got a blackout shade and I've also rolled down the other MCD shade so now we have complete privacy in the back. So the great thing about the Tofino camper van is the fact that it's stealthy. So with the rear double bed down, if there's only two of you traveling and you don't need the roof up, you can set up your bed down here and have complete privacy. To give yourself complete privacy when you're sleeping, you can simply insert the front privacy shades on the windshield, driver's door, and passenger's door. And by pulling down the MCD shades in the kitchen and the sliding door, you have 100% complete privacy. When you're done with the rear bed, it's simple to put away. You put your upper bed cushion away, latch it into place so it's nice and secure during travel, and then simply lift up your jackknife sofa and put it back in the upright position. So when it's time to close the roof, there's just a couple things to remember. One, always have a side door open so when you're pulling the roof down the air pressure can escape it makes it much much easier and two you always want to make sure that the sides are coming in so that the canvas folds in neatly otherwise you just simply grab the two pull straps and start by pulling it down once the roof is down you just tuck the canvas up and then just start by latching back up your safety latches and you are ready to go. With the roof down and secured and the front seats in the forward facing position, we can now take off on our next adventure. The Ram Pro Master has some great standard features like power windows, air conditioning, cruise control, power mirrors. It also comes with built-in navigation and a touch screen and you can pair it to your favorite Bluetooth device and control it right off of the steering wheel. Last, I have one great optional feature. It's our side roll-up screen door. So as you can see, this screen door, it closes automatically behind me. It's got a great magnetic system, so it closes and seals up every time. It's got a fine screen to keep the bugs out while letting fresh air in, and this will just enhance your camping experience. 
Well, that wraps up our tour of the 2020 Tofino. If you're looking for a stealthy, minimalist camper van, maybe this is right for you. Let's remember, it's backed by the Pledgeway five-year coach warranty, which is the longest in the industry. And with every new purchase, you get access to your very own personal assistant for 90 days. Now, if you're looking to see a little more Tofino action, stay tuned on our YouTube channel as one of our marketing staff, Devin, and his partner, Roberta, take this camper van on a trip across Western Canada to the namesake town of Tofino, British Columbia. Here is a sneak peek. We're ready.